Hello fellow Nuzlockers, my name is Video James, and we're back with another Soul Silver. So, there is something I want to address at the beginning of this episode, and it's something that I haven't talked about, mainly just because I didn't know it happened. Because, by the time the episodes that I'm going to talk about were released, I hadn't realized that there was problems with editing until I had already recorded and uploaded, well, uploaded to be edited, the other two episodes. So basically... Episodes 21 and 23 of the series were kind of scuffed, so if you'll notice, episode 21 of the series, the audio kind of lagged behind itself, like the video was basically the unedited, like the raw, just unedited, uncut footage, but the audio was what was edited, which is why the video is kind of apprehensive, and when I tried to download said video, I had to down. I couldn't even download it. Like every other video I had would download except for that one. So that one is kind of scuffed beyond repair, as is the other one, which is episode 23. So a lot of you will have noticed episode 23's editing was really choppy. Not only was there parts that were cut out and put in that made no sense, uh, there were actually parts in there that I cut out that didn't get cut out because YouTube's editing system is just lovely, but the ending kind of got messed up every time I would edit to the point where more and more editing would cause the ending to get shorter and shorter. So yeah, that's kind of what happened last time, but we're going to move on from that. We're going to focus on what's happening now, because I've gotten a little bit better at managing the editing, I've gotten a little bit better at catching when it's making mistakes, those two, though, are kind of just, like, I can't really do anything about those. I've also gotten in the habit of downloading my videos before I actually put them up, just so that I can have a backup and have that ready to be uploaded in case it should need to. But, like I said, we're going to leave that for now and we're going to move on to happier things. I say, as I realize I'm about to talk about the loss of Newt. Yeah, for those of you who saw the last episode, Newt kind of got exploded. Newt kind of got blown up via an electrode. Or what, wait, was it an electrode or was it a Volt? Or no, it was a Weezing she got exploded by. I'm so, there's so many round Pokemon that get exploded and you kind of just get them confused. So, to recap, our party now only contains Squirt back here, the Ampharos that we have, uh, Spoompers, and Sushimi. All Pokemon that we are going to do absolutely nothing with, because let's face it, Ampharos and Gyarados are barely any use, but Spoomp... Uh, well, Spoompers might carry us through the Pokemon League, in all honesty. The only reason I say that is because when I went to check the Pokemon League yesterday to see if Lance's Dragonite had Thunder, I realized that all of his Pokemon were below level 50, and Spoompers is actually almost at level 50. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're still going to try and rank Spoopers up to at least level 52, just so she can, or so he can, you know, survive. Because, you know, a mischievous against literally anything, one hit and it's pretty much dead. But the reason we're back in Azalea Town is we need some more party members, desperately. So what we're going to do is we actually have Headbutt on one of our Pokemon, and I believe it is Beamer the Ampharos. Yeah, Beamer has Headbutt. So we can actually use Beamer... To our advantage because there's two places where we haven't caught Pokemon yet. There's two places where we actually still have encounters remaining and unfortunately they are both headbutt encounters and they're not great headbutt encounters but they're the headbutt encounters that we're gonna get. So we're gonna start out in Azalea Town and the first two Pokemon that we can try and get are Spiro, Ambipom, or not Ambipom, Apom, and Heracross. Now I'm hoping for a Heracross just because Spiro and Apom are not great, but you know, Heracross only has a 30% chance, and I think Apom is the one with a 50% chance. So, whatever comes out of this tree is going to be whatever comes out of this tree. Also, I should really check and make sure I have Pokeballs. Um, uh, okay, yeah, we're good. I actually have 15 Ultra Balls. Why do I have 15 Ultra Balls? Oh, right, Lugia. Yeah. Never mind. All right. Beamer, I need you to smack this tree real quick, just as hard as you can. Try and shake out a bug this time instead of a monkey. I mean, monkey good, but bug better. Nothing. Alright, let's try that again. And I know you can get a bug Pokemon, or I know you can get a Pokemon from Azalea's tree to that bunny. 
I just need to find the right one. So let me try and get this. And I know there are some towns where you can't get a Pokemon from headbutting the trees. Here we go. First Pokemon. Let's go. What is it? And none of these are going to be repeats either, so... Yep. Yep. That was one of the ones I didn't want. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, don't, 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 don't you dare squirt. We don't want this thing to be killed. Alright. Go for a Pokeball. Please get it. And come on, come on, come on. Stay in, stay in, stay in. Yes, okay. Oh, I really did not want that to be a wasted encounter. That was going to be so bad if that was a wasted encounter. Alright, what do we got? Spiro's data was added to the Pokedex. The tiny bird Pokemon, very protective of its territory, it flaps its short wings busily to dart around at high speed. Its evolution is also one of the ugliest Pokemon to ever exist. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Firo, but I do not like the way they made Firo's neck. Okay, now there's one other place that we want to go, and that's Ecruteque, which means I have to go back that way. Time to do a jump cut! But before that jump cut, I just need to see if, if this Spiro can actually learn fly. I'm going to be mildly upset. Um, let's see. Booted up an HM, it contained fly, teach fly to a Pokemon. And the reason I'm going to be mildly upset is because if this thing can learn fly, this thing can learn fly, but freaking Gyarados can't. Yes, let me fly on my bird that's the size of my shoe. Alright, time to get a second Pokemon. And where's a good place to do the headbutting? A good spot for the head of butt. Um, right here's probably good. What do you got for me, Beamer? Nothing. Fair enough. Okay, let's try that again. And anything? Nope. Alright, let's try down here. Use headbutt. And there we go. Okay. I think it's like you can only get Pokemon using headbutt from specific patches of trees. A Lediba. Oh, are you actually kidding me? So, fun fact... Out of the Pokemon that you can get from this headbutt station, and the headbutt stations that share the same Pokemon, Lediba has the lowest encounter rate. Well, I mean, no use waiting on it. Might as well just Pokeball it. I mean, if nothing else, I can just use the EXP share on it and get it to level up and have it be somewhat viable. I mean, it is level 17, so it should be good against nearly every Team Rocket grunt. Alright, what do you got for me? Um, one shake, two shake, three shake, and it broke out. Am I really going to have to use an Ultra Ball and a Ladyba? I mean, I literally have nothing I can use to actually catch this. Um, oh wait, I have an idea. Hang on. I'm stupid. I have an idea. Beamer, get in here. I forgot you have Thunder Wave. Unless I took Thunder Wave off, because I did do some HM swapping yesterday. Uh, nope, you still got Thunder Wave. Okay, good. Oh, right. It's protective that I safeguard. Oh, okay then. Oh, and it has Mach Punch. Lovely. Oh, hey, Static Paralyze it. Nice. I didn't even have to use Thunder Wave. Alright, um... The Ball of Poké. Really? Now it's not even gonna stay in for the three shakes? Oh, Ladybug, you are not gonna win this! Just stay in the Pokeball! And... Are you gonna stay in? No, now it's not even gonna stay in the Pokeball. Come on. Don't make me have to literally wait you out to use Struggle. If it doesn't go in the Pokeball by the time I've used three of them, then I'm just going to Ultra Ball it. 
I might just be Ultra Ball. Actually, wait, don't I have a Premier Ball? I think I have a spare Premier Ball. I can just huck at it. And there it goes. Of course. Uh, of course, the Lady would be the one that would have to be problematic. Okay. Um. Lady Buzz data was added to the Pokedex. What do you got for me? The five star Pokemon. When the weather turns cold, lots of Ladybug gather from everywhere to cluster and keep each other warm. It's a great buffet for bird Pokemon. Well, welcome temporarily to the team, Puncherson. Okay, oh, Joey call me. What do you want, Joey? Hey, yo, James, what's going on? What's happening? It's Joey, how are ya? Hey, you remember my super cool Radada? My Radada is different from regular Radada. It's like my Radada is in the top percentage of Radada. Do you know what I'm saying? Gotta be honest with you, Joey, I really don't. Also, that was not the battle invitation, and I am very disappointed. Alright. Let's actually go into the Pokemon Center because A, Ampharos lost like a tick of damage, and B, I noticed Squirt's moves weren't at full capacity. So let's just deal with that. Alright, there we go. Um, I also need to swap out because I have Rattail in my party. So we need to swap him out for the Ladybug. Okay. Mild with Swarm isn't terrible. I lied, that's actually awful. Ugh. Mild, really? It's a it's a physical attacking Pokemon. Why would you give it mild? Uh, alright. I mean, I guess it's all we have, really. I still have no clue which one of those eggs has the Slugma, by the way. I've not really bothered to check. Alright, held items. Um, I mean, I guess I'll give you the XP share for right now. I mean, not like it matters. Um, let me see. You have the XP share... Spoomper still has the choice specs. I know Squirt has the Quick Claw. Beamer, what can I give you? We have the Wide Lens that slightly boosts the accuracy of moves. Uh, we have the Zoom Lens, which boosts the accuracy of the user slower. And we have the Shell Bell, and we have the Soothe Bell. Um... Let's give Ampharos the wide lens, just to make that more accurate. And then we'll give Tsushimi... Uh, we'll give Tsushimi the other one, the shell bow. Because Beamer's mainly just going to be doing, like... I mean, its first move is pretty much always going to be Thunder Wave, followed by something else. But... Gyarados always has like a physical attacking move. Also, um, Gyarados is the one that I really gave a lot of H10s to, so I gave it Whirlpool and Rock Smash to go with Ice Fang and Flamethrower, so we have no Dragon move anymore. Bit of a problem, but we still have Ice Fang. And we also have... I don't think I changed anything on Squirt? No, I didn't change anything on Squirt. Uh, didn't change anything on Spoompers. Didn't change anything on Beamer. Oh, that's a lie. I did change something on Beamer. I gave Beamer, um, headbutt. So, that's a thing. Um, I really, I think the best thing is just going to be to level up Puncherson right now. I don't really think we have anything else we can do. Alright, I guess let's just head back to Goldenrod and we'll take care of that whole situation going on over there. I need to find their warehouse, don't I? Because that's where they said the director is. Alright. Um, let me get the Spearow out. And fly, Fodder, fly. Uh, it said the warehouse is in Goldenrod, right? I think that's where it is. It's not going to be in Mahogany Town. It's going to be down in here somewhere. Kindle, shut up. No one asked for your input. Alright, let me see. Um, you... You don't belong here, get lost. Um, okay. So I need to find their warehouse. Where would their warehouse? It would probably be in the subway tunnel, right? Let me see. Okay, um, let's go here. Oh, hello. One of the kimono ladies. Team Rocket members in black suits have been running around. I was wondering what was going on. So, you took on Team Rocket, eh? You are quite impressive. You may be able to face the legendary poke- What? You're just going to throw a Master Ball at it. 
Okay, that's anticlimactic, but all right. Haha, <laughs> never mind. I must go now. Let's just not mention the legendary Pokemon anymore, shall we? Alright, uh, you were blocking this. Insert of the basement key. I'll insert something, alright. Insert something up in Team Rocket's face for killing Newt. Alright. Oh, we got another one of these, huh? Alright, well, guess that one Ladybug's gonna get more experience than we thought. What do you want? I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Phrasing, please. And Team Rocket Grunt Numero Uno having one Pokemon. Radada. Ooh. Higher in level. This might actually be fun. We might actually have some problems here. Okay. Squirt, let's take this thing up. Wait a minute. Did I just say we might actually have problems? No. No. I take it back. I take it back. If you kill my starter, I will be so mad. I, I will probably just quit the game. I'm, in all honesty, if my starter dies, I will probably just quit the game. Not what happened with Pokemon Yellow, by the way. Pokemon Yellow just lost all its save data. That really does suck, by the way, that Pokemon Yellow lost, like, literally all its save data before I could even finish it. And, like, oh, that was, that was not nice. I really like that series, too. I may pick it up again and just, like, reboot it and, like, I don't know, maybe delete the old, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to reboot Pokemon Yellow. I might do it, because I managed to re-download it onto this DS, so, who knows? What up, boy? Hold it. What I told you to pour was to deceive you. I thought it would let me tell you, and it would lead me to Lance. Well, since he never showed, no matter. I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you're here, I'll repay you with my debts. Uh, let's see, I owed you 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 poke dollars, right? And we get our rival bottle, okay. Well, I mean... Good experience for the ladybug? What do you got for me, boy? Golbat. Okay, starting out strong. Golbat's not a bad Pokemon. It really is, like, if any of you have ever tried to actually use a Zubat in a playthrough, like Nuzwalk or otherwise, it's really weird the discrepancy between Zubat and Golbat. It's like, Zubat's like dinky, can't hit anything, it like tickles everything it touches, and then Golbat actually does some damage. And then Crobat comes in and it's like, now that's a lot of damage. Alright, Beamer's level 42, the Meganium's level 43. 43? 34. Why did I see 43? Um, Signal Beam should just take it out, right? I mean, I know Meganium's like a tank, evidence Mr. Steak, but like... Ooh, Confusion. Oh, that actually helps quite a lot. Okay. And hurt itself in Confusion? Yes, there we go. Alright, and Signal Beam going off again. And Meganium is gone. Well, that was underwhelming. Alright, um... Punchersen, get in here with the EXP. Um, ooh, a Hunter. I will use Spoonfers for this. I will use Spoonfers and get her to... Uh, him to do some damage. Uh, I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that Spoonfers is a guy. It, it doesn't... It really does not help with Madrevius' appearance. I'm sorry. Like, I know... Don't judge a book by its cover and all that, but like... Mistrevious is like one of the most feminine Pokemon you can ever see. It's like it's hard. It's hard to make that switch click in your head. Alright. Hunter's gone. Spoomper's gonna get 432 from that. Not bad. Punchson getting up to another level, level 19. What level does Ladybug evolve? It evolves I think fairly early. I think it's like level 22, maybe. Either that or I'm completely wrong and it's already evolved by this point. Alright, Sushimi, get in here. Um, Sneasel shouldn't be that much of a problem. I'm willing to bet Sneasel's not going to be that much of a problem. Especially since we just intimidated it and Sneasel's like all physical attack. And because we have Rock Smash, we're going to be doing four times effectiveness. And there he goes. How much damage is that going to do? Hmm? 20 damage, not bad. Well, 22 damage actually. And there it goes. The, like, I like how Sushimi was just, like, pathetic and just knocked the thing out. And we get half of the damage it dealt back. 
Not gonna lie, I feel kind of bad about that one. Um, Magnemite. Ooh. What do I have that can really do anything to a Magnemite? And not die? Um, I guess Spoonfers? I mean, I guess Spoonfers is the only real thing that can damage Electro-types without getting damaged hard itself. Um... Also, I might put Spoonfers up front just to get him to level, him to level 48. Ah! Alright. Oh wait, it's only level 30? What am I talking about? Just Shadow Ball it. We're fine. We're, we're absolutely fine. This is not gonna matter at all. And Magnemite gone. There we go. Alright. Spoonfers, how much XP? 285. Decent. Halfway to getting the next level. Got Punchers into level 20, so that's nice. And we defeated Boy. Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest, the toughest Pokemon. I don't ease up on the gas. So why do I lose? Well, I mean, if you don't ease up on the gas, you're kind of going to go off a cliff at some point. Oh, yeah, Ladybug is evolving. Sweet. What up, Puncherson? You're actually going to get your big fist now. Also, it's weird how Ladybug looks like it has six legs, and then it evolves to have two arms and two legs. I mean, I would think that they would have tried to give Ladybug at least the two red shoes, but, you know. Also, I'm glad we didn't get Ariados, although that's Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Or, not Heart Gold, Soul Silver, that's just Heart Gold. So, I'm kind of glad that we did just get Ledian, because Ariados is kind of meh. I don't understand. Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love? Ugh. Hate the stuff. Trust? Ugh, don't have any of it. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? No, that's me. That's, that, that, I'll be honest here, buddy. That's all me and my overleveling. I am sorry. I really should not be this high level. I, I just don't understand. But it's not going in here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up on my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. You sure about that? Um, alright. We took you out already. You must have ice in your veins to call out Team Rocket. Why? You are literally stealing people's Pokemon and trying to take over an entire region. Again. Talking of taking over an entire region, let's put a stop to that plan, shall we? Open one door, another closes. Bet you can't get where you want to go. Right, this is that puzzle. Okay, um... I think it's like red, green, blue is the order you need to go. I can't remember exactly, but there is a specific order that you need to go for those tiles. Um, how to deal with muck? Probably just surf. Probably just surf and literally wipe it off the face of the map. And there it goes. Also, that muck's level 23. Like, I feel like at this point, Ladybug might actually be able to just get in and... Uh, sorry, Liddy in. Might be able to just get in and get some levels. Um, coughing, I'm switching out to Spoonfers just because I am terrified of the possibility of explosion now. And there we go. What do you got for me? Level 23. Okay, this should be easy. Also, I just realized Spoonfers has the choice specs. So, like, no wonder it's decimating literally everything. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's got no defense. So one hit will kill it from an equal Pokemon. But, like, choice specs are so broken in, like, Nuzlocke's and that. And, like, story versions of Pokemon games. I mean, it's like, in the competitive scene, it's just like, oh, yeah, eh, 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 choice specs. We can deal with that. But then you get into, like, Nuzlocke's and that, and it's like, oh, wait. This guy has one of the most broken items in the game. That can actually kind of just sweep an entire enemy boss's team. And we got a Rata. Level 25, really? Huh. Okay, I might actually be right. Lydian might actually be able to get some levels. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous episode, but for some reason I keep remembering that I brought up going into the Ice Cave. I've not even gone into the Ice Cave yet. I've not even gone to Route 44 yet. So, like... At some point, we'll just be able to do that and get ourselves a swine up and level that up. Hopefully. Hopefully. We really... I, I, I hope that's the case. Um, Puncherson getting a good amount of levels. 
Uh, only a boost of one in each of its attacks. Although its special attack is really high. Like, wow. Okay, that might actually be good. The only problem is you know all physical moves. Uh-oh, I was shrunk by indecision. And we got 1,000 for that. Alright, um, ooh, Pokeball. Mine. Thank you. Full heal, lovely. Uh, let me see. I want to test something real quick. If you step on one of these panels... Oh, no, wait, it's these buttons over here you have to push. Um, okay, so if I hit red, that closes up those gates. Uh, let's try blue next. Blue opens those. Uh, let's go down first, grab that Pokeball, and then we'll come back up, because I'm guessing green is going to open one of those gates. Alright. You, give me your experience. Fork over your goods. Also, why do Team Rocket Spites look like police... Like, am I not- Oh, wait, no, that's not a Team Rocket person. That's a burglar. Burglar Duncan sent out a coffin. Okay, fair enough. Actually, wait, why do, Why would a burglar have a coughing? You would think they would have a stun tank. Or a Glammeow. Actually, yeah, Glammeow would be a really good Pokemon for a burglar. Because, like, it, it's dark colors. It's, like, known for being just mischievous. Actually, further point, why wouldn't they have a Misdreavious? That's, like, literally the best Pokemon for a thief. It's, like... That'd be like trying to rob a bank and you have Ghost Freak on your side. He's like, he can just sneak into the vault without even tripping anything. Um, switching to coughing again. What is Sushimi at? Uh, 2929. And Squirt is farther from that than he could ever be. Uh, Beamer is 2294. Let's switch into Beamer. Let's get Beamer some experience. I mean, I know I should probably be leveling up Squirt just because he's our starter. But, like, I mean, I want to at least use the Ampharos before it inevitably gets crushed under the weight of something. Um, Discharge. And there goes the coffin. It is gone. It is deleted. Also, while we're here, I guess I'll talk about my remaining plans. So, yeah, I didn't realize that I, um, or I keep thinking that I've mentioned going in the Ice Cave. I haven't. So, the plan for the Ice Cave is I want to go in there after this episode, after we deal with all this Team Rocket business, and I want to get a Swine Up. Now, the reason I want a Swine Up is A, because it's a ground type and we severely need one, because it's got good tank stats and we need one of them, and because it's also an Ice type, so that'll help with Dragon types like Lance and Claire, which means after getting that Swine Up, I will probably be doing some training. Um, I don't know if it'll be training before Claire, because I feel like at that point, Squirt and, um, Spoomp and Tsushimi might just be able to deal with Claire on her own. Especially if I just use Tsushimi to Ice Fang through the entire way. But, um, I plan to do that. And there's also Pokemon on Route 44 that I want to catch. I forget what. But there's also Pokemon that you can get in Blackthorn being... Magikarp, and it's like, it's a 100% chance to get a Magikarp from surfing in Blackthorn. They ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for leftover loot. Well, I mean, good place any. But, um, you can get a 100% chance to get a Magikarp from surfing in Blackthorn City. And the only Pokemon that you can get in the Dragon's Den from surfing, other than Magikarp, is Dratini. So, if I can manage to get a Magikarp, then that will mean that we'll have ease of access to a Dratini again, and we'll have exactly what we need in terms of hard-hitting Pokemon. And by that point, we could probably, um, well, actually, would we be able to? Um, I don't think you'd need Waterfall, because I think you need Claire's Gym Badge to use Waterfall, and you have to go into the Dragon's Den before you can get her badge. So, I think we should just be able to go in there with Whirlpool on Tsushimi? And then, um, oh, we might need Rock Climb, though. That might be a thing we need. I think we might need Rock Climb and or Rock Smash. Um, but yeah, that's our plan for that. And then, I also plan to, um, what's, what am I thinking? Um, I plan to try and catch another Hoot Hoot or Noctowl. And there's a couple places we can do that. Route 26 and 27 both have a chance of giving it, and it's, again, the highest chance Pokemon you can encounter from that headbutt. 
Um, Route 46, I don't think there's anything. I, Route 45 and 46, I think, are... Like, I don't think we need anything from there. Um, in Victory Road, I don't think there's anything either. So basically, Mammoth Wine from the Ice Tunnel, Dratini from the Dragon's Den, and Hoot Hoot from either Route 26 or 27, or if there's a route I'm forgetting before that, from said route. But yeah, that's basically the plan for that. If we don't get a knock towel beforehand, I'm gonna say that I'll probably just level up the Ladian to get it to be as high as possible to at least be on par with Squirt and the others because then I can at least have it be viable for the Pokemon League and have us have that chance of using it. Alright, take out another Team Rocket Grunt and they once again have a coughing. Not gonna be an issue. But yeah, that's the plan for Pokemon thus far in terms of acquisition. And, I mean, other than that, I don't really care about what else we can get. Because, I mean, there's not really a lot else to, you know, go for along the way. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There is one more Pokemon that we want to get. There is one more Pokemon. One. Singular. In Mount Mortar, and I found out this actually goes with the gift clause, that this Pokemon is actually legit. You can use this. In Mount Mortar, in the basement of it, there is a guy from whom you can get a Hitmon top and a, or no, not a Hitmon top, um, you can get a Tyrogue. And that Tyrogue can evolve into pretty much anything you want, depending on whether it's attack or defense is higher. So what I want to do is I want to go through there and I want to get that Hitmon top. Now we need Waterfall for that, but that's fine because we're going to go there after we beat Claire. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to go get that Tyrogue. And the plan is to evolve it into Hitmonchan. Now, why Hitmonchan? Because Hitmonchan has better speed and attack. And Hitmonchan has access to good fighting moves. It has access to pretty much every elemental punch. So I can give it Ice Punch or Fire Punch, whichever one I decide I need. And it has access to priority moves, which is good because if we're in the Elite Four and someone tries to, say, outspeed us, or we know they have the possibility of outspeeding us, we can use something like Bullet Punch or Mach Punch, and then we can outspeed them first and take them down. So that's the plan for that. And I do want to get that Pokemon. And the reason I'm saying it goes against the Gift Clause is because it's an interaction. You have to interact with someone to get the Pokemon. But when you get it, its trainer ID registers as yours. So that's the thing that the Gift Clause kind of means. The Gift Clause basically just means that you can't use any Pokemon that doesn't have your trainer ID. So as long as I can get like, say, say I got an Arbok that didn't have my trainer ID, I could use that Arbok. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Look at this picture of this Arbok. Man, I am really on an Arbok train today, aren't I? Alright, challenge by another team market crime. Also, why are you guys just letting, like, random thieves into your hideout? Look, that, that's, like, the worst idea, because if they find the director, they can just screw your whole plan over. Alright, Ice Fang the Gloom, please, squirt. But yeah, that I really do want that Tyro, just because that thing is going to be a very good Pokemon to have. Like, it's going to be very good. The final layout for the team, I'm thinking, is probably going to be something like Squirt, a Dragonite, um, definitely Spoompers, probably not Sushimi or Beamer, I would say probably the Mamoswine, the Tyrogue, and another Flying type. Either it's going to be Newt, or we'll have to level up the Spearow that we got. Who knows? It's going to be either or. But that's going to be the eventual planned layout. If it doesn't work, um... The only real other Pokemon I can think of at the moment that I know exists that I could get would be Slowbro. Because I know in the Tojo Falls, you actually get access to Slowbro, which can help us out a lot. Because having a Psychic type is going to be good, and Slowbro, in terms of both its stats and its type, is kind of just a defensive 
out. Took a lot of stuff. All right, what's in here? A uh, bunch of boxes. Great. Oh, more Team Rocket stuff. All right. Um, do we continue from here? Uh, well, the director's right over there, so we'll try. I'll try and get there and see if I can actually manage it. Oh, am I actually going to be able to go there? I don't think I can reach that spot. I think this guy's literally just blocked me off. Because there's that crate there, so if I can't get around him, then... Uh, alright. Uh, what do you got? Raticate? Not a problem. Raticate is the least problematic Pokemon right now. And there it goes. Oh wow, it actually lived. I need to stop overestimating how good Water Gun is. Uh, my speed harshly fell, that's fine. And the Quick Claw went off, isn't that irony? My speed falls, my Quick Claw goes off. And the Raticate is gone. Oh, okay. Raticate, do a bye bye. Puncherson getting 297 from that. Uh, Golbat, I'll stay in, I can just Ice Fang it. Alright. Golbat, meet Nobat. And there it goes. The health has just vanished. Alright, 4... 439, okay, that's actually impressive. Punchersen actually reached level 24, that's nice. Um, at this rate, Punchersen might actually be viable before we even get to Claire. Uh, keep old moves, Baton Pass isn't really not gonna do anything. Um, yeah, Baton Pass really isn't something you want in a story playthrough of Pokemon. Mainly just because the only real thing that's going to do is just pass on... Oh, we can't go around him. Uh, it's just going to pass on stuff like Intimidate and that. So, like, you're going to swap out to a Pokemon and it's just going to have Intimidate. Which, I mean, I guess could work for, like, special attacking Pokemon. But, like, still, it's not the greatest thing. Oh, hey, it's the Goofy guy. I remember you. You got me good at our hideout, you... Sorry, my voices were not really on key for accents today. Alright, what do you got for me? And he's got a Grimer. Buddy, you really should have evolved that thing by now. Actually, wait, doesn't Grimer evolve at level 27? No, no, Grimer's a level 30 Pokemon. So he kind of can't have a muck right now. But, I mean, at least he's got a stronger Grimer. He's leveled up since the last time we fought him. 250, okay, not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wheezing, switching, immediately, no explosion, nope, get out of here, nope, mm -mm. not having it, nope, Spoompers, get in here. You need to immediately side beam this thing into oblivion. And, a be gone. If that actually kills it, I'm gonna be impressed. And it killed it, Spoompers, good job. Exceeding my expectations once again. Really, honestly, I did not expect that to kill it, mainly just because it's a fully evolved Pokemon and Spoompers is still unevolved. Like, even with the choice specs, that really... I don't feel like I should have killed. Alright, what else we got? Um, We got this one guy, and then we got the director. Okay, easy enough. Alright. How'd you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. Uh, See, here's the thing. Trash was picked up three days ago, buddy. Alright, uh, coughing. Fair enough. Level 25 again. Okay. I mean, Lady in at this point really isn't gonna be, like, able to just out-level everything else, like all our other Pokemon are. But it should get to a point where it can at least go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. As long as I can manage to find another move it can actually use. That is gonna be the big thing, is I'm just gonna need to find a move that Punchersen can actually learn. Um, oh, coughing. Fair enough. Alright. And one more. Hey, coughing, you want to do me a favor and uh, bite your own poisonous gas? And there it goes. Again, level 25. I like Team Rocket's kind of stepping it up a little. Although I will say, I think this is actually their last ditch effort. Unless they've got operations going on in Kanto. I can't remember if they have stuff going on in Kanto or not. Um, Alright, you're going. And talk to this director down here. Get this Pokeball. So we talk. Okay. I mean, I don't have a Snorlax to use rest with, but you know. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key. 
A lot of card keys in my bag now. Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they do if they'll control that transmitter. They might even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower. And all the Pokemon nationwide. Showing your preferences a bit there, aren't you, JJ? Well, I think I'm going to leave this video here. Um, next time we'll go take out Team Rocket and just finish off their plans. Because, let's be honest, I really do feel bad beating on these guys' Pokemon constantly. So, uh, I mean, Squirt, what do you think? you feel like we should give them a break? Okay, fair enough. Squirt agrees. So, next time we'll just put an end to Team Rocket. But for now, I'll leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I am deeply sorry about those two episodes that got like so scuffed up. I'm trying to fix the one of them, but if I can't fix it, those are just going to remain the scuffed episodes of the playthrough. Actually, and yeah, I don't think any other episodes of the playthrough have been as scuffed as those two. Like, there might have been one or two editing mistakes in the other ones, but like, not as scuffed as, like, those were badly scuffed. But for now, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, Team Rocket, then Mammoth Swine, then take out Claire, probably? But if you guys did enjoy this video, you can go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one.